Thank you for checking out Filman Rollup and Associates Municipal Market Update updated for the week of September 27th, 2021. My name is Adam Bauer, and I serve as CEO and President of Filman Rollup and Associates. Filman Rollup and Associates typically records an MMU the first and third week of each month, but when we see significant market changes or other economic events, we often try to do an updated version of that, and that's exactly what we're doing here. Phil and Open Associates is a municipal advisor to government. First slide really focuses on why we're doing an updated MMU. And on this chart, uh, we show the US Treasury, the 10 year, and the 10 year AAA MMD and how they compare to each other over time. And I've talked oftentimes about uh, when one is higher than the other and why that might be. But what I really want to focus on today is this increase right here. So this last week, there's been some talk about a reduction or a tapering in bond purchases and that that might take until middle of next year, but um, the Fed might be, or FOMC might be backing off there. And uh, you saw every, an increase in the 10-year treasury. Now it doesn't show in this chart because it's after the date of, of this chart, it was this morning. Uh, which is Monday, September 27th, this 10-year treasury actually ticked up above 1.5 for a brief period in time. As of, as of the moment of this recording, it is back below 1.5 uh, just slightly. But anyway, that is a significant event that market watchers watch to see if the 10-year treasury is over that 1.5. So 10-year treasury is up um, and uh, the uh, AAA MMD is up slightly, but not as much. It'll be interesting to see if there's upward pressure on the MMD now that the treasuries have ticked upward like they have. But let's get to what's happened with the AAA MMD. Now in this chart, the red line represents the AAA MMD as of September 24, 2021. That's what that red line represents. The gray bars represent the range of interest rates for each one of those maturities of going back to 2005. Hopefully we are noticing that red line is still near the bottom, but I wanna point out a few data points on here that I believe are worth noting. In year one, as of 9-24-2021, you see that the 10-year treasury is at 0 0.11. A week ago, it was at 0 0.07. So we've seen an upward tick of four basis points. Now go to year 10. We're at 1.00 as of 924, 2001. A week before that, we we're at 0.94. So we are six basis points higher there. If we go to the 30 year maturity, we are currently at 1.59. Week before, we we're at 1.53. So an upward tick of six basis points there. So interest rates have shifted upward. They still are at very low levels, but they are higher than they were in um, recent weeks or months. This is the credit spread. So uh, AAA is the uh, highest rating that an issuer can receive. And so that would be zero. And then we spread the AA, single A, and the BAA from that. And uh, what you hopefully notice there is kind of when the COVID first hit United States, the credit spreads widened dramatically. Now they have narrowed. Um, one thing that'll be interesting to see is now that rates have gone up a bit, do credit spreads all, also go up? Um, so that's another thing that we'll watch, but just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on this slide. So there still have been significant inflows into the missile bond fund. So the demand for bonds continues to be high and that's good. That puts downward pressure on interest rates. But this next slide shows that volume is also up. Uh, you see these averages, the red dotted line is a 2019 average weekly volume. Then you can see the light green line, which is a 2021 average weekly volume, and then the 2020, the darker green. You can see the last three weeks that we're over even the highest level there of the 2020 weekly volume. So while there's still demand for bonds, there's also a lot of supply out there. And so this would um, possibly put upward pressure on rates that there's so much to bought for investors to choose. Now here's some economic uh, items to look at uh, going forward. 
And um, if these come in better or worse than expected, they will certainly have uh, impact on um, interest rates. On our next slide, uh, we have our registered missile advisors. And one item I want to point out to you here is uh, we recently added uh, Paul McDonald as executive vice president, and he uh, passed his Series 50 exam, and he is now um, on listed as a registered missile advisor for Finland Oil and Associates. So welcome, Paul. And thank you to all those who uh, checked out our MMU updated. And I look forward to talking with you again in a week.